Hello everybody and welcome back. We want to use Gradient tool for creating a project with you and also review some previous features. We want to create this beautiful scene, so without wasting any time, let's jump into the Illustrator. If you are interested in this video, please subscribe to my channel for reaching to the previous lectures and click on the bell button, so whenever I publish a new video, you are the first one who can watch it. Ok, at the first step we want to create the background. For creating the background you should select the rectangle tool here and this is my background. Ok, now I want to make a gradient to my background. Select the selection tool and from here create a gradient. But I need three steps. This, this and this one. I double click on it and I change the color mode to CMYK. I put C to 50, M, 50 again, 0 and 0. The second point, I put the C to 75, M to 100, 0 and 0. And for the last one, again I change the mode to CMYK, 100, 100, 35 and 50. That's it, and I change the type of my gradient to radial. Ok, now I should change some hills here. At first, I create the rectangle tool. Create a rectangle to the middle of my artboard and select it. Actually, select the direct selection tool, select this anchor and put it down to here. And select this point and I want to convert it to the smooth anchor. Just like that. I select the handle and put it to my anchor and now I have one handle. I put it here. Or here. Ok, now I select this shape, press Ctrl C and Ctrl V and put it here. Let me put my artboard to the finish screen and put it here and now in the properties I press this button and put it just like that. I select both layers and the pathfinder I click on the key for compounding my shapes. Ok, now I select it and with the direct selection tool I add a curve not to all of the anchors just click this anchor and now add a curve. Ok, this is one of the hills. Now I want to choose a color. For example, I go to here in the CMYK 100, 135 and 50. That's it. And now I need two other hills. I zoom out and make it bigger. Ok, now I hold the ALT key, put it here, again hold the ALT key, and put it here, select both of them, and move them down. Ok, I select both of them, I want to go to the transparency panel, here, by clicking on the opacity, you can change the blending mode to the screen. And right click in the arrange, I send it to back. And again, select the background in arrange and send it to back. Ok, let me lock the background. In the object, I go to the lock and selection. This is locked. Ok, now I want to make some simple circles. Here, I select the ellipse tool and from the center, Select circle. I change the color to white. Ok, hold the Alt key, put it here, here, and here. Ok, now I change the opacity. For example, this one to 80. No, 80 is high. I put it to 50. I put it to 30. Put it to 10, 
Okay. I want to scale them up. Here. Okay, now I want to adjust them. At first select the heel and in the arrange I want to bring it to front. Just like that. Now you can see I cannot select this circle and I can just select this circle. Okay, I go to layer here and expand my layer and I have four ellipses here. I want to put them up. I select it go to the high again and again okay I put it up okay now that's good okay, now I can select this circle this one this one and this one okay now I want to adjust them we're gonna make it bigger, select this one, make it bigger, this one, and now select all of them and scale them down. That's great and amazing. Now I want to add my wolf holding PNG from here. I prepared it before and add it to my shape. To make it bigger, and again select the heel, arrange, and bring it to front. That is so easy. I use the gradient tool for creating some shapes in my background, and now I create a moonlight actually, a wolf howling in my image. Okay, that was the gradient tool project.